Mark Webster alongside me, Dan Dawson, for this one. I would imagine we'll be entertained, but I cannot promise you as to the level of play that we'll see over the next potentially 11 legs. Yeah, well, if anybody can deal with this situation, Ryan Joyce has had a bit of experience of hostility in his debut at the World Championship. He drew Anastasia the Bromislow over in the first round, and the crowd were very much against Ryan on that occasion, and not to the levels of this crowd. This is quite subdued compared to the world. But Ryan Joyce is the better player and signs that he's playing more like he can. Got to the World Series of Darts final, had da a dance with Dirk on Diving Boulder as well, went on to reach the final. So mm. he's, got, he's got a really good A game, Ryan Joyce, but the little bits in the middle, sometimes not good enough. I think he'd admit that as well. 60. Yeah, he's his own harshest critic, to be fair, Ryan Joyce. But... One of the other players we'll see tonight, Chris Dobie, reckons that uh, when he's playing properly, he's the best double hitter on the planet. And that's not just being generous to his mate. He genuinely believes that. And there's quite a bit of evidence to back that up. He is usually very, very reliable on the doubles, but he doesn't tend to score as heavily as a lot of players on the tour. No, and Chris Dobie, oh, he's oh, he's oh, he's double in, double out format, the Grand Prix last week. And we're talking about Ryan Joyce and Ryan Joyce, when he's actually qualified for that event, has been deadly. He beat Peter Wright, should have beat Chizzy. He just backs up the claim. 80. He's playing better than there, wasn't he? In fact, he hasn't qualified for it this year, symptomatic of how his year has gone. Yeah, of course, yeah. And still, you'd, you'd expect him to have too much for Dyson, but got to start well, Ryan. Ryan, you're Trouble 17. Doesn't get a dart at the bullseye. But he does set that up very nicely. And all of a sudden, Ryan Joyce might be favourite to nick this leg against the darts. Really good setup. Maybe just one dart at the ball. Oh, double five. He'll watch for the celebration. But Ryan Joyce needs this win. It would take him on the brink of the World Championship spots. He's out by three spots at the minute. And this one this one thousand pound for winning this match is not enough to get him in. Uh, we've been talking about his finish here. They were nowhere near. Yeah. Sloppy from Ryan. Alarming from Relentless. Going double one. <laughs> well, that is the celebration of a man who has... Had one of those DRE emails in the past for over celebrating. 137. Yeah, a few players have copped a fine in Gibraltar in their time. <laughs> Some of them I sympathise with being stuck on a squash court, the poor guys. And Dave Chisnell getting fined because having missed an 11th match dart in the game, turned over to where the commentators were. We're in the same hall, to be fair, and clearly audible. And told them what he thought about having to listen to commentary of missing almost a dozen match darts. Kind of think he had a point. I'm just generally I mean, listening yeah. to you and Paul Nicholson go on. I probably got a point anyway. <laughs> I think, to be fair, it was me and Rod. And oh, I say no. I, I mean, yeah, say anything about Rod, and Rod's going to pull some strings and you'll be getting an email. Yeah, obviously, Rod doesn't come into the equation. But Ryan Joyce needs to quickly forget about that opening leg, get himself back on track here. And Dyson is someone, when you're playing him, when he said, it can really get to you, can't it? You, as an opponent, you've, I've never played him, and thankfully not. But you can see it with, like, really great on players. You, you weren't one to get wound up very often, though, were you? You just let them get on with it. If they want to shout and scream, let them do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. But, but you can see how it would get to players. In which case, maybe they're doing something right. More than one way to win a game of darts, as Ryan Joyce just illustrates there. 80 left going for the treble 16 for double 16 route. But because he didn't get the treble, it means he'll have to burn a dart to get to a double. Now, it probably doesn't matter. Dyson's back on 172. Yeah, if, if Dyson's leaving a two dart, at, well, he's tied up well now, isn't he? That's the Ryan Joyce finisher we're talking about. Levels up the game. Comfortable leg for Ryan. One apiece here. Winner to face Danny Noppert, who we mentioned. 
It's a really tough game. Danny Nopper will be a little bit wounded after what happened last week in the, in the Grand Prix. Yeah, particularly having seen Nathan Aspinall go on to reach the final and in the end make a really good game of it. But looked like he had Nathan Aspinall on toast. He did. Three match darts, isn't it, to win the last set 3 0. Typical Nathan Aspinall never gives in and he'll be in action tomorrow. He fancy a tilt of the title as well. Yeah, about time Nathan Aspinall won one of these European Tour events. Certainly been knocking on the door this year. He hit the ground for the, word, for the word go, didn't he, when he went to Risa with no expectation. Got to a semi-final. Raced into a three-leg lead against Gedwin Price. Nathan Aspel lost that, but yeah, so, certainly he's kind of a player we expect to win one of these European Tour titles. It may be this weekend. But next year, you put his name in the equation on the majority of the events. Well, you can plead all you like, but the answer's no. It's very much the North East versus Gibraltar tonight. Ryan Joyce. Obviously an action against Dyson Parodi. And then Chris Doby against Dylan Jewell Jr. Fourth game on. Single 18 for double 16. And Dyson was in charge of this leg. And he nearly let it slip away. He may still only get one dart. And that's assuming that he hits the big numbers he wants. Yeah, he's stumbled to this finish, hasn't he? Tops, Parodi. Um, should have been a lot more comfortable in the leg. And Ryan had chances to break in leg one. He's got to work his way in. That looks a good guide. Yeah, open bed, really good dart. And deserves the break, Ryan Joyce. He's looked the more likely he's the better player. Has that breaker throw he needs. For what would be an important win for Ryan Joyce. Well, Dyson at Europa Point, the other venue in Gibraltar last year, 64. ended up averaging 72 and losing an absolute pig of a game with Kenny Knight. Oh. Now, he's averaging that sort 100. of number here. And if he continues to do that through the game, Ryan Joyce is going to win this easily. Because even though Ryan hasn't been at his best, a 72 average is not going to worry 44. this man. He's a World Championship quarterfinal. It's kind of similar to Jason Lowe earlier on. He kind of got embroiled in a messy game that he felt he'd never lose. But just was never at his convincing best. He hasn't been all year. And... Well, not as alarming for Ryan Joyce. Ryan Joyce hasn't been at his best. And qualifying for that World oh, Series of the Arts finals and having a good run, he'd have swapped that for a good run here, Dan, and order some, some ranking points because this was a good payday for him. He needs to be in the World Championship, Ryan. So this would take him within just over £1,000 of the last spot, which is currently occupied by John O'Shea. Oh, 140. Dyson having a lot of darts going to that five segment. If he is having a miss, it tends to be left. He's had a number in the five segment. He's had a go at the bullseye a couple of times and missed left. Ninety-five. That's good stuff from Ryan now. The average is creeping up into the high 80s. He's playing better and it's starting to reflect in the scoreline. Should be 3-1. Well, to tidy it up. And he does exactly that. It's another time in this match where Ryan Joyce is so far ahead he felt comfortable going for a treble for a more favourable double, double 16, which actually, when he got the single, made the next shot harder. But he's made up for it by pinning the treble in his next visit. So he seems quite happy to do that. As a, Now, I don't again... The question will be, if Dyson's breathing down his neck, will he continue to make those choices? But the fact that it's worked twice, he might well do. Yeah, I'm not going to knock it. So he's got time in his hands. I mean, if he gets through, I don't imagine him having that sort of luxury. He's Danny Nopper tomorrow, but get through, get the job done. Just looking at the race of the World Championship as well, how big that walkover for Steve Beaton is this afternoon. That gives him clearance of just over £2,000 to the last spot and... 
That's a lot of this time of year, Dan, isn't it? Because that's a lot of players below you as well. Yeah, and while it was a, a host nation qualifier and Justin Hewitt that he was drawing against, you'd put Justin and, and Dyson as probably the two most likely to pick up a win against the tour card holder. Dyson, because he's done it a number of times before. And Justin, because he looks like, at the minute, the yeah. best of that current crop of young Gibraltar players. Although Craig Galliano, of course, picked up the win against Mario van der Bahada to kick things off this afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Game that could have literally been 6-2 the other way. A story of missed doubles, but credit to Craig. And he gets a free hit of Peter Wright tomorrow night. What an opportunity for him. Brody, we're writing him off a little bit here. Ooh, he's hit it. And he looks as surprised as me, because he's not been close to it the two previous attempts. He's going to hit the double eight, though. <laughs> <laughs> next one, next one. All of a sudden, should still complete this layer, but Ryan, it's a turn 40 here. Another one. Oh, no, oh yeah. Got to be careful here, Dyson. I feel it has to go, a double break. Ooh. Uh, no just had a feeling the leg wasn't done, you know. Joyce for 4-1 and a double break and a foot in the second round. And that looks all right for him. Ooh, doesn't use it. And doesn't pin the double ten either. So a let off for Dyson Barodi. It could have been 4-1. This would make it 3-2. He's making heavy weather of this, Ryan, isn't he? 3-2, Dyson gets the... <laughs> Well, he got that in the end. He deserved that leg, to be fair. Went to its rightful owner in the sense that he was at the double first, but big let off. Ryan Joyce could be sitting a lot more comfortably on that stage. Just inviting problems here, Ryan. And we talked about his doubles. He's missed eight in this match already. So is Dyson. Sixty. We've mentioned a couple of times already that World Series finals appearance for Ryan Joyce. Because he's not been very good at getting through the qualifiers for the Euro Tour, that's a rare time this year where he's actually had some big stage action. And you can kind of get out of the habit of being on a big stage. I know there's not many people here, but there's some people here and it's being broadcast all over the place. If you do go a few months and you might have only played one game or no games on a big stage, then it can be a little disconcerting when you step back on those PDC 60. stages to play again, can't it? Yeah, definitely. You feel a little bit out of sync. and it Obviously, match practice, just that pressure of playing. And when you're on a stage, it's generally a big game, isn't it? And 60. there's evidence of it here. Still, you've backed Ryan to get the job done. Nowhere near his best. Strange he went that way, Dan, when he's been teeing up. Yeah, and then he, he obviously rounds it off. He's happy with that, but I thought he might have just started at the top. But he's got his own methods, Ryan, and he's got to a double. 29. Ryan, you require 36. And in plenty of time, by the looks of it. Worries the wire. It's getting harder, this. Yeah, they're not great darts in that they kind of kick down a little bit, so there wouldn't be much to look at there for Ryan. He'll come back, but really making heavy weather of this tie. And yeah. there's going to be a bit of pressure. 4-2, Joyce. It's another crack at double 18. That's better. There's consolidate that breaker throw and to be fair Dyson Perotti's not really making any inroads on the Ryan Joyce throw is he? No not really and the thing with Dyson he does have the capability to rattle off 11 and 12 daughters and you might well see it but has he got the capability to play well enough for four more legs in this game while only having one more off leg and I, I don't see Dyson Prody going sort of 13, 14 for, you know, to win the game. It's yeah. gonna, he's going to have to get Ryan Joyce unraveled in a tie. And he has done that, but he, his level of play hasn't been good enough so far. And he's still well in the tie, though. But well, if we go back to when he had that run to the quarterfinals, 
He's beaten Dirt Van Dijvenbode, admittedly not the Dirt Van Dijvenbode we have nowadays. It was an 83 average. He, he threw a decent game against Yellow Class and with a 93, still had to survive Max Darts from Yellow and that. And then it was another mid 80s average to beat Max Hop. So it's going five, six legs anywhere around the high 90s, 100 mark. He can do it, he just doesn't do it very regularly. And he's missed the bullseye again. But he does tidy it up just about. But it'd be less than convincing. So Ryan will know, put a big score in here. Keep himself hanging around. This ain't a gimme. The way this game's gone, as I said, that's not a gimme. Brilliant dart from Dyson Brody. The most convincing dart of double he's had. And <laughs> anyone's guess what, what that celebration's about, but. He's digging in deep here. Best leg of the match. Well, this is being recorded. So it was only about a minute or so ago. We were both agreeing that we don't see Dyson Parodi going 13, 15, 14. Well, started off with a 13 data. Hey, if he proves me wrong, it'll be entertaining and he'll give it some to you. I'll happily take that one, but... I still stand by that comment at the minute, although that was a very good leg from Dyson. This should just be a lot more convincing for George, shouldn't it? And we said Dyson needs to get him embroiled, and he's starting to now. Well, he may not be doing enough to win the game right now, Dyson, but he has been doing enough to just keep it close-ish. He hasn't lost the game yet, has he? He's staying in there. He's one break of throw. He gets that break back. He then becomes favourite. Oh, 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 and here he goes. <laughs> Ryan Joe's just trying to get on with it, stay focused, but he's in trouble now. I said he couldn't go 13-14. He might go 13-12, Webby. <laughs> and if he does, back to my point up. <laughs> He's starting to enjoy himself now, Dyson. And Ryan certainly isn't enjoying himself. And there's probably been too many performances like this from Ryan this year. 59, Dyson, you have To level it up. Double top. Double 10. Oh, yeah, it wasn't close, was it, Dyson? And I'm not sure he wanted tops there anyway, by the way, he looked at that one. And if he gets another go, he's got to mess around with double five. Now, this is the key exchange in the match now. Straight at it. Uh, you could, yeah. <laughs> and he'll be, he'll be disappointed. He's been the better player for the last two. Well, he's been dominating the last two legs or so. And not converted the opportunity. As his former World Cup of Darts teammate Dylan Dewar at the back there. He qualified for the World Championships once, Dylan Dewar. Well, that is a big opportunity missed, and that could be it. Really. Well, it's a 20 darter, but Dyson Parodi has missed four darts at doubles in that leg, and, and he should have had another one, really. He's come back in this game as Dyson, but it's his own misses that have cost him. He's actually had 15 darts at double in this match. They have been opportunities. Looked like Dyson was going to hoover up the last few legs there. Oh, and he's still digging in. But in the end, his finishing sucked. We going with that? I'll let you have that. Yeah, yeah all right, fair enough. 58. But he can prolong this tie in. It's not convincing from Joyce, and Parodi will fancy himself to get a break. If if it does, we expect him to go to the next leg. He's, he's not counting that, but. Only a match leaves a finish for Ryan. Oh, good to see Mensal Sudovic back as well this weekend. Yeah. He's not what he looks like. Uh, his sort of stuttering career. He has had some fantastic moments, hasn't he? Still projected to be a seed at the World Championships, but a very low seed. Uh, could he be surpassed over the next... I mean, he could be, but certainly... Mathematically, it could happen, I assume, and knocked out of the top 32, and then he'd be oh, yeah, it missing happen. out altogether. Yeah. A bit of work to do. To Sunovic. Good run here. 
there. He's double 16 he wants this time. Double 16 he gets. It's a 15 data from Dyson Perodi. Now Ryan Joyce is asked a question. Can you hold throw and close this game out? If the answer is no, Dyson Perodi will throw for the match. Good last start. Be some relief there. You've thrown for the match. Don't offer him any encouragement. Wow! Oh, listen to that. He fancies it, and why wouldn't he? He's been the better player in the second half of this match. He has dragged his average up by a good 10, 11 points in the last three or four legs. Dyson Perodi is getting better. He is also getting louder. And Ryan Joy shut him up. He'll keep a lid on it, Dyson. He seems it throwing quicker and quicker every throw. Just stay composed, like you said. He's closed the average. It's three points. Ryan, every treble he gets is a big sigh of relief, you feel. A treble 18 on the first visit, a treble 20 there. But here he goes again. Didn't think that was a great guide. There's that miss left coming in again. Only 20 points in it. Ah, good dart. Ah, brilliant from Ryan Joyce, because he'd be feeling it up there. They can't watch. They are all feeling it in here. 60. Well, he's down to a finish, Ryan but Ryan Moore Joyce on a better one, and he does get first look at it. Yeah, this buys him some time, you feel. Treble 16, maybe. Ah, good setup. And it's a big ass for Dyson Peroni. It's 167. Oh, he's going to have to rely on some mismatch darts, and the 167 isn't going to go. And a spirited performance looks like it's going to end here. Ryan Joyce for a place in round two. Double four. For 6 4, and Dyson Perodi beaten six legs to four. He battled back, and as he got better and louder and noisier, it looks like he might be turning things around. But Ryan Joyce just about holds his nerve to get over the line and pick up his first win on the Euro Tour this year. If he's entertaining any ideas of making it to Dortmund in the European Championship, he's going to have to go and win the whole tournament. Maybe not worried about that. It'll be Danny Nopper for him tomorrow. We are two games.